Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here with the continuing adventures of Arjuna. Uh, because now that fake Grand Order takes much longer than any other gotcha for me to actually record and do something. If you really want to leave a like, if you want to continuously see me do fake go videos, then please leave a like right now. It's, uh, your likes help me understand what is liked and what is not. So let's get into it. And here's Arjuna, uh, where we last left, left off, um, Arjuna got us into a labyrinth. And Arjuna said in having bad dreams. Master, I'm afraid to have some bad news. Firstly, this miasma is only getting thicker. Secondly, the incoming enemies are exponential, exponentially powerful further than the ones we previously thought. It can't be. What's wrong? Let's just move forward. No voices for this one, because fate is very hard to make voices. If you want voices, go watch my Persona 3 videos. Considering we're in an underground labyrinth, the air, the air here is dry. I see. The environment is quite similar to the world that I lived in. However, I never heard of such a labyrinth as this before. And... I sense a strong, regal aura. If this place is similar to my world, it could only mean... Ah, you're here, Arjuna. I knew it was you, Rama, great king of Kosala. To think that the grand hero himself would would condemn condescend would con would what? Condescendent to address me that way. What an honor this is. Now then answer me this, Arjuna. What the hell was that word I tried to say? I cannot Are you an honorable Kashit what the hell? Kashitra? Or are you something else? Answer me after this battle. Of course, we're going to fight Rama. Again, uh, I might not know all the names because a lot of them are Indian in nature. So if I mess it up, I apologize. Um, that's just the way it's going to be, man. So now we're going to fight Rama. Everyone's favorite uh, banana man who eventually eats bananas. I forgot to turn off to not disturb. So if we get... If some Dokkan stuff goes down, we're going to hear about it. Oh, this is easy. You get all here. Damn, that's loud. Uh... Yeah. Mm, I'll go with this. I'll do some clairvoyance. I'm not going to use my buff yet. I'm going to save it. For when we do it again, hopefully we'll have some crit stars, and then we'll be able to kill Rama in the next turn. Because I'm going to get some arts. Buff, I need at least 10% in order to actually um fully kill Rama here. So let's hope we get it. Unless he gets insta-killed, but no, he didn't because it's defense. Oh man. You're not going to get enough, aren't you? Get more than 10% Arjuna. You... Okay. He did not get 10%, so he's still a piece of shit, but... Mm, he's lucky. You're so damn lucky, Arjuna. I hate you so much, because you don't listen to me. And you denied me my beautiful wife. But here we are. Still, I'm still commanding you somehow. Let's go here. I'm gonna do a good old reset. Try and see if we can get some damn... Alright. That's not good, but that's not bad either. And we'll go... Bop, bop, blah. And hopefully Rama dies from this. If not, uh, that's going to take longer than I wanted. And of course, I'm only used doing this interlude with Arjuna. Uh, the other two members, if Arjuna dies, that's going to be very unfortunate. Because he's really our endgame winner here. He did not insta-kill. But can he do enough damage? I only got 1% from that. No, you're not gonna kill, are you? You ain't killing. Thanks, Arjuna. Thank you for making this take way longer. Oh! Can you please kindly... I should have done an arts uh, chain, but I didn't, so... Please don't let this fucking go. Why are you so goddamn tanky? And of course you take down my shield. 
Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Well, he's not going to be able to NP anyone, so it's fine. Because my good old boys, my good old wave of boys, are going to stop that shit from happening. At least one of them is, anyway. Keep going. Move on. Wow, this is a slow build too. I just realized that um, Waver does not have his thing up yet, so that's going to be a pain in the ass. Again, there's no chance I lose this at all. It's actually an extremely easy battle, but it's fine. It's easy because I've been using double Waver or whatever. At least I'm not using double Merlin. Uh, but to be fair, if I was using double Merlin, he'd be dead. Alright, he's dead. It's another interlude down. Uh, another chapter in the interlude, my bad, my bad. We're not done here. I think we have two more nodes to go. Hey, killed that saber. Next part of the story, please. Mm, did you guys hear that? It was a bunch of ice falling down. It doesn't matter. Can you load? Thank you. Alright, two more. Oh, who is this mysterious foe? We'll go with Merlin. This is my answer. I am Kashirtra, but I am a servant, a familiar at the same time. I have a warrior's pride. I fulfill my duties as a familiar. I can be both. I will not forsake my pride as a warrior, even if I swear my loyalty as a familiar. So you understand the theory. A sensible answer, as I would expect from the great Arjuna. But your response is, accept is acceptable only because this is a peaceful moment. I wonder whether you can give the answer in the time of crisis. Are you mocking me? Move on to your next trial, hero. Your destined enemy awaits. Oh, that means it's... Karna. I was about to call him Karnov, the the hero from the Karnov's Revenge series of games. I know there's only one warrior in this world who radiates such fighting spirit. Goku. Oh, it's Karna. You've come, Arjuna. Karna, why are you here? You shouldn't be in a place like this. My presence here suggests that you believe otherwise. An enemy who puts a question to Arjuna. That is my role here. I ask of you, my sworn enemy. Who are you? Hmm. He's Arjuna. Everyone's favorite Indian boy. That's a lie. Everyone's favorite Indian boy is Karna. But let's see if we can kill... Oh, he's a lancer with invulnerability piercing. That's bad. But it's okay, because we have Merlin, so there's no chance that he's gonna- Oh, fuck. That's actually very bad. That's even worse. That's not- that's all bad. Alright then. Don't worry, Arjuna. Let's see if we can do some damage. I was about to say damage, but that's quote rhyme style. I'm not gonna use it for fake green order. Oh, okay. This isn't looking good at all. This is looking very bad. I wish you had told me you were a singular lancer. Then I would have put... Oh, you... Karna, I hate you so much. You'll never fully understand my hatred towards you, but it's okay. Healing. I'm gonna use this now. Let's see if I can MP. I NP Double Phantasm boost both of them. This isn't gonna do anything if we're lucky, he'll automatically kill in one shot. Can you do it? Can you make a miracle, Arjuna? No, you can't. Oh. Filled with regret. It's okay. Ow, that all hurt. That really hurt. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, you're gonna miss it, you dumb piece of shit, Arjuna. So he doesn't have enough. 
He's missing a good chunk, and even with my other boost, he's not going to make it, so we're about to do this and try and give Merlin everyone an ability to fight back. Alright, good so far. Oh, waver why? Of course you NP seal, Merlin. Of course you do that. Yeah, unbelievable son of a bitch. Alright, we're fine. Go in here. This is gonna be unfortunate because I don't want to do that, but we really don't have a choice here. We need to bring down his first bar. Now my hope is is that the reason there was a question mark is because he's gonna change classes the second he dies. But uh, the first bar break from that, not when he dies. But let's see. Here, get my little ball of justice. Of course, insta kill does not trigger because insta kill is trash. He did do a lot of damage. It's been a little decent amount of damage. Oh no. Huh. I was right. Let's look on the bright side of this. I'll give it to Waver. Because Waver is more important to get his stuff back because it, it can delay him. Guards against it, of course. I see, I, I had a feeling he was going to change. What does that mean, though? That means I'm not fighting Karna. That means I'm probably fighting Arjuna's angst. Because he's an angsty boy. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this. Just because I want to get his MP back faster than I don't care for a couple of... Is he still stunned? Or did his ability stun himself? What? What the hell's going on? Is he not going to fight back anymore? He's not fighting back. Um, okay. That's weird, why isn't he fighting back? Why aren't you fighting back, Karna? Answer me. This is very annoying because you're- Oh wait, he can't use his normal phantasm, he's stunned. Be able to use it. Can't use it, he's stunned. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, apparently he stopped being stunned on exactly that turn. Well, someone's dead. Is it Arjuna? It's everyone. Everyone is dead. Oh. That's very unfortunate because I don't know what the fuck happened. Oh no. Oh no. That's all bad, as far as I'm concerned. Um, can we unfuck this situation? Maybe. Uh, in all honesty, if Astros had a. Oh, and you're a fucking writer, so you take all the damn stars. Well, it's up to the B team. Well. Okay. Please tell me that you unlocked. Oh, so this is how you die, huh? You die just like this. Doesn't make sense for you to attack. Please, for the love of God. No, you're dead, Astros. There was no way you were going to survive that. Oh, please, for the love of God. It's going to have to go to Teach. Oh, Teach you. I'm going to cheat you. This is literally my last hope is Blackbeard. 
Blackbeard, for the love of God. Kill him with your extremely shitty animations. No! No! Oh, fuck. That's it. I can't win now. There's no way for me to win. That's unfortunate. Why did you lose your stun? I don't understand why he was stunned for so long. That's a shame. You hate to see it. Especially since none of this matters. Because I'm about to use three command seals and come back and automatically kill you in one hit. Go ahead. It's not gonna matter. Oh no, what am I gonna do? Everyone's dead. This is very unfortunate. That means all I'm gonna have to completely use. Never mind. Okay, Karna. It's time for you to die now. This is going on for 16 minutes, and half of this is me losing. Okay. I hate you so much, Arjuna. I hate you and your little loot. Sucks. It's terrible. If this doesn't kill him, I'm going to scream. Oh yeah, it did 26,000 damage. Look at all that great damage it did, Arjuna. Aren't you a big man? Because you died. And then came back later. Alright, let's end this. I don't understand what the fuck was up with that stun. Maybe that was the end of his ability, but how the fuck was I supposed to know? That it just magically ends when he reaches a uh, noble phantasm range. Alright, let's end this. Keep it in with Arjuna and our boys in the back. I should really have changed out, um... Bedivere, he was gonna do nothing. <gasps> Got ya! Sam says bleed. Ah, yes. I remember. This moment. I remember it well. At this very moment, my fingers let fly my arrow. An arrow of certain death. Firing that arrow could only lead to the life to a lifetime of regret. Even so, I now live on as a servant. Goodbye, Karna. Wait, wait. Master? I don't want you to suffer. You don't want to fire, do you? Because I do want you to suffer. That's not true. Karna is my sworn enemy. I have more than enough loathing for him. With a master by my side, there's no reason why I should not shoot him down. However... Karna. Our fight is over. I know you are not fool enough to ask for a rematch right here. Leave. If you do so, I will spare your life. And, to answer your question, my true name is Arjuna. I am a servant of Master Loki. That's a lie. What did you just say? Do not lie to yourself, Arjuna. As a servant, you are forgetting one crucial thing. As long as you hide from that, you are not a true servant. <gasps> I am. Woki and Arjuna, you must proceed further to the depths of the abyss. You are free to withdraw. There are manners even between friends, and some are better left undisturbed. You may think of the worst case scenario, it may be a brutal scene where everyone will get hurt. But I have to go. Master. It seems Master's mind is set. Arjuna, what will you do? Why should I fear the depths of my own abyss? Master, let us go. No matter what evil or carnage awaits, justice lives within my heart. I see. Then let's go. Going down, down, down to the abyss. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. A dark Krishna lives within my heart. It whispers evil thoughts. It agitates me, guides me, and it makes me bear the pain of all my sins. What a terrible excuse. Pathetic, embarrassing, atrocious. I don't even- I don't want anyone to see me. To see. 
but I am envious that it's evil. I see. So that is me. The man who sits on the throne, wearing a cold smile, he shows no fear of forsaking the path of a warrior. What we see ahead is the dark Krishna. Arjuna, is that the true form of the darkness you possess? Yes, it is. Yes, it is an ugly thing, I must say. How invaluable that is truly the form of a human. If they continue to struggle, even ugly as they are, they act valiantly, but they continue to tremble in fear. They cry out, saying they don't want to die and yet risk their lives to save another. Something inside me insists. I want that. I want to be that. Krishna? Krishna. He is one of the avatars of the god Vishnu, and it was he who sided with Arjuna in the epic of Mahabharata. There is no doubt that he existed. He is one of the great heroes who toyed with our armies. He is even said to have been a charioteer for Arjuna. But there was another Krishna, one who nested himself here. Krishna, the, the me who has taken the name of my friend. So you've returned, Arjuna, or is this an expedition? Have you come here to expel the darkness and seek light? That's right. How foolish, my friend. As the one who called Kurita the Shining Crown, the only thing that can save me is the darkness found in the innermost depths. How ironic, how sad. By growing stronger, by forming closer bonds, I am left with no choice but to kill those with whom I have bonded. And now, you have two individuals who you must kill. That's... Arjuna? Please, do not look at me. I am a hero. I am a hero. No, that's not me. I must be a proper hero. That's why I conceal that me. Especially in front of you, Master. What did you just say? Master? Everyone has a dark side. This is literally turning into Persona 4. But, but I, I am, I was privileged. I respected good. I hated evil. I lived as a pro proud warrior. There is no way I have such malice within me. No, I cannot allow something so vile to exist within me. That's right, Arjuna. Not one person has ever seen a face of mine. No matter who it is, I must kill them. If I don't, I cannot remain a hero. The murder is a harsh necessity if I am to remain a hero. You are louder than usual, Krishna. You must be panicking. A third party has never reached this far in. Rama represents the many obstacles in one's life. I represent Arjuna's antagonist. And then you, Krishna. You are Arjuna's ally. And at the same time, you are here to represent evil. You are the dark shadow that burrowed into his heart at a young age. You hold completely different beliefs, priorities, and morality than him. You are his other personality who speaks to him from within. Yes, we are all more mere personalities comprised from Arjuna's memory, myself included. But Master was the exception. She merely answered the call out of concern for Arjuna. What? Concern? Arjuna. In the end, we never once rode out in chariots or to look up or took arms together. Consequently, I always thought we were bound to be enemies. But it'd be different now. Things have changed. When we were in America, <laughs> I knew you understood my thoughts, or rather, that you were on the verge of understanding. I... Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Know your place, Karna. Just like me, you are evil itself. That's why you were defeated. Lend me your hand, Master, together with Arjuna. We will silence this dark Krishna, convincing him will convincing him will come after. Alright, now we fight. God, that was way longer. Yeah, so now we're in Persona 4 land.
uh, we have revealed to Arjuna that this is the true self. Reach out to the truth is currently playing. None of that is true. I'm sorry. Oh boy. Let's see if we can beat the shit out of Krishna. Uh, I'm doing this to start. Um, instead of doing the old way I've been doing it, just because I want to quickly just beat the shit out of him. Deal a lot of damage. Uh, and see if I can do something else later. With the back row falls, we're screwed. He unfortunately has three. Uh, and he has an NP charge, so actually this might all be bad. This all might be very bad. Oh, six and bad. It ain't bad. It's not enough, but it ain't bad. Alright, that means it's my turn now. Ah, damn it! That was exactly what I was afraid of. Okay. We're gonna go here and hope that I make it in time. If he uses another hero of the endowed, then we're screwed because he's gonna kill the entire front row. There's nothing I can do to stop him, really. Oh wait, I forgot that you have invincibility. Okay. So we're gonna get one more round of Arjuna before um, he dies, because there's no saving him. There's literally nothing I can do to save him. If I had Merlin, it'd be a different story, but I don't, so... I have to hope that he doesn't insta-kill Mario Juno because he has Divine. And then from there, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're gonna get the first break. Perfect. Well, not perfect, because he's about to get very strong, and if he has anything that, like, pierces his vulnerability, we're gonna die. Death chance up, that's a very bad. If you trigger insta-death on every single person, I'm gonna be very, 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 very angry. He triggered it on Arjuna. He's dead. Oh my god. Can you fucking stop for like five seconds? Yeah, there was no chance in hell for Arjuna to survive. Once he increased his death chance, that was basically it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go this way. Because unfortunately I need him to kill Betty with normal attacks in order to get the actual good units in the back. And by good units, I mean units who can deal damage. Betty can run. Oh, son of a bitch. That's not very good. But that did drop him down. So... That's good. Maybe if I just wait long enough, everything will recharge and then I'll be perfectly fine. That doesn't look like it's happening, though. I'm thinking no. It might happen. We'll see. Oof. That's the best. Uh, can you hit Betty, please? Betty would like to go down. Gross. I said hit Betty, you piece of shit. Thank you. Is that so hard? I don't want to use that yet, but I'm going to have to. And I'm also going to use this on you. Some damage is better than no damage. Okay. Do not use Hero of the Endowed, or I swear to God, fake Arjuna, I will kill you. Krishna. Excuse me, his name is Krishna. Get him, Betty. Get him with fucking light Eh. Yeah. Not a lot. He has some damage though. Okay, remember when I said kill, kill daddy, you dumb fuck, you son of a bitch. Oh, shit. I have no choice. I have to use this. It won't even matter because he has insta death. 
Oh, god damn it. I should have really switched you up, Edivir. If I had anyone else, he would be nearly dead. But I don't. And of course you die first. So now he has less people to target, and he targets the one person with invulnerability. Great. Now this doesn't matter, because actually it does matter. Hmm. Let's see, how's everyone else? Not good is the answer. I can delay for a turn. But then that means giving, um... it around. Get something better and the answer is kind of no. Um, okay. There is no saving you whatsoever, Astros. Oh, increase your defense for a bit. It's not gonna help, but it's fine. Alright, let's see. Come on. Just kill Astros. Kill nobody else, you humongous piece of garbage. I think he killed everyone. No, he didn't kill you. Which is not gonna help because you're about to die here. Nope. Oh my god. By pure stupid luck, you are still alive. Um, kinda have no choice but to go this way. I mean, there's no way in hell this team wins. There's just no winning now. And I'm not about to do the same for it, so that's not happening. Of course, you missed every single thing possible. No stun, no nothing. That's a defeat. If you, if you defeated him, and of course you're gonna just constantly do that. Hmm. Oh man, I hate you so much, Arjun. This is a waste of time. The answer is, is that there was no saving Arjuna at the end at all. He was always a piece of shit, and he died a piece of shit, and that's the end of it. Alright, I'm going back in there. Okay. Going back in. And this time... Guess what? Why should I use him? I don't want to use him because I know I have a good one. I'm going to use Mr. Eegabooty's good old-fashioned... Uh, okay, you know what? And you're also changing out. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you today. Uh, yep. We're going to go with Jaguar, man. So, if it comes down to it, there's no way in hell I lose now. Uh, uh, if you want to refresh on all that shit, see previously. Alright, we're still in it. This is almost a 30 minute long video, holy shit. I don't know if anyone's watching this, but if you're still watching it at this point, uh, thank you. This is a lot. This is arguably way too much fake Grand Order. Yeah, well, this is your one video for the week. That's why. When Nero Fest is coming. Alright. Mm. Okay. Now, obviously, the reason we lost previously is because Arjuna needed the help of his brother to overcome. So we're going to do that. We're going to do that. And then we're gonna hope to god Arjuna gives us some damn crit stars. So Karna can actually come in and save the day. Also should have say changed my outfit to something better, but it's fine. It's not fine, but I'm gonna convince myself it's fine. Ah, uh, there's a real part of me that wish that it's the death triggered, but that's not happening on my side. It never happens, so why should I expect it to happen when it'd be nice? Okay. I'm gonna do a little bit of 
Why should he use this? It's fine. And then we'll go a little bit of hero and dead. Next turn, I'm NP sailing him because he's not going to use. Um, I'm, I'm pretty positive he's not going to use that shit again. If he does, I deserve to die. Yes. Probably should have started with Arjuna. Not Arjuna, Karna. Oh, that's unfortunate because if he does his MP, he kills both Karna and. Oh, don't, don't. Oh my god. I hate you so much, Arjuna. I hate you so much. You're the biggest piece of shit in human history. Oh, he needs to kill the waiver and, uh. Yeah? No? Yeah, no, that's exactly how I expected it to go, because he's anti divine. So, that's great. That's another case of I should have just used the fucking skill. Oh, and that's terrible too. Can I get some good shit? No, I can't apparently. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, game. Oh, it won't matter because Jaguar Man's also divine. Oh my god. I hate everything. I hate Frank Gering of Order. I hate Arjuna. I hate his piece of shit brother as well. I hate Karna. Karna sucks. Astros is okay. Oh my god, this is just all pure agony. I want to do this because at least that means that Astros gets to fight for like 10 seconds. He's not going to do anything because he's not strong because he's a uh, bronze soda. So you look at that damage. Why are you doing that? It doesn't help you. I say after you one shot kill him. Like I said, it doesn't matter because anti-divine. So I'm going to very quickly try and do as much damage as I can with Jaguar Man. Next time, next turn, I'm just going- if I lose this one again, I'm just gonna go straight up Skavash and I'm gonna say fuck this guy. And I'm gonna end it in two seconds. Like I said, um, this anti-divine automatically kills Jaguar Man. Okay. So that means we live for just a little bit longer. Let's go here. I'm not gonna make it in time. Not gonna make it in time. Not gonna make it in time. Of course, I didn't stun, so if he just uses Hero the Endowed, he can automatically NP me in the fucking face. And that kills everyone. Don't do it, no balls. Oh, yes. Oh my god. You stupid fucking bastard. Now we have a shot. Uh, cause like I said, it didn't matter if Jaguar Man lost her, um, ability to guard. Because, uh, either way, she dies this turn. I'm gonna go this way just because he needs a little bit. If he's gonna be the last one standing yet again, he needs to have, um, some potential to shoot his noble phantasm. So that didn't kill. So that means we lose. Nope. Oh my god, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Jaguar Man. You're such a beautiful woman. I love you so much, and now this fucking interlude can finally end. Who needs two extreme gods of Indian descent when you have one female in a revealing outfit to save the day? Alright, let's end this. 40 minutes. Ugh, not yet. Give me your hand, Arjuna. 
we must stand up together to fight against evil. No, that's wrong. You're wrong, Krishna. I know it's wrong. What? I've been thinking about this the whole time. It's because of you I was able to fire that arrow. I blamed all my cowardice, everything I did that was unbecoming to a true warrior, on you. And at that time, I just wanted relief. I thought the battle with Karna was going to last forever. The person I had been just... The person I had been was... Oh, son of a bitch. I had been was being swallowed and I despaired, knowing it was I was moving away from the path of a warrior. But, it's, um, but I must accept it, no matter how much I wish to resist. The one who fired that arrow was... Don't say it, Arjuna. If you say it, you will be cursed for thousands of years. You must say it, Arjuna. There's no correct answer. The only thing you can do is hold on to your convictions until the very end. There will be times when you feel lost. That is what we must walk the path of the master with master. A servant needs to live their second life carrying their doubts with them. After all, you have never before reached this place where you now stand, not even in life. I was the one who fired the arrow. I held that arrow. I fit the arrow to the bow and let it loose. It was me, Arjuna. I'm sorry. Krishna, at that decisive moment, you were not the chariot with me. That's right. Krishna was fighting elsewhere, but after he learned of how much humiliation you suffered, he kept quiet. You are going to be admitting your own evil. Whether you be whether you be alive, dead, or even a heroic spirit, you can never take that back. You will bear this regret for eternity. That may be true, but I have decided to I will no longer fear regret. I see. Then I shall hold on to that regret of yours. Krishna? Maybe, just maybe, my existence is the leak in the dam. I don't understand what you're getting at. Nothing. I'm just talking to myself. Don't worry about it. It's time to wake up, Wokey. It's unlikely I will make another appearance anytime soon. You should forget about this whole dream. I'm sure I'll never meet you again, Krishna. I will not be appearing here again. Farewell, Arjuna. Farewell, Master. I will fade away too. But I must apologize, Master. The numerous times you were put in danger, all of it was because of me. It's true. It is probably because the bond between you I and you and I has grown stronger. The deeper the bond I form with someone, the more fearful I become of, of them learning the existence of Krishna. That's why I called you to my dream. I tried to kill you. I'm such a fool. A vile, detestable betrayer. I would not protest should I be put to death. Master, now you know all of who, of what I am. And yet you still embrace me with everything. You still embrace my everything. My light, my darkness, and my evil. I see. Then I will never again fear the smile of yours, nor the, this darkness, never again. <laughs> dun dun dun. Scale level up. This isn't a dream, is it? You have awoken, Master. I thank you for showing me such a wonderful dream. And I would also like to apologize for putting your life in danger. But I am some, so, but I am in something in a bind. The crime that I committed should cost me my life. If I do ever offer up my life, I would not be able to fight for you anymore. Whatever shall I do? Good morning, Arjuna. Good morning. I will waver no more. I will de dedicate all that I have to serving you. But now that I think about it, I felt like it was a long, long journey, yet it seemed a short thing at the same time. I will say this journey has taken at least over an hour if you count part one. There is nothing absolute in this world. Various substance, substances prowl, wander, and are transient. Emotions are no exception. Even love can one day change the hate and sadness. Or the opposite might happen. But there is just one thing that I can say with confidence. I feel fortunate to have met you. Hmm. 
Thanks, buddy. I am an archer. My true name is Arjuna. I am the Kashirta warrior and servant. I lend my strength to a master in order to win back the future. I am just an average heroic spirit. I am a descendant of God, but not a god myself. I may have incredible power that ordinary humans lack, but I am still human. I simply fight. I fight for my master. My reason for fighting is my belief in my master. That is all I require to see myself as a hero. For that purpose, I can embrace the darkness within me and not be abashed by it. I am an archer. I am an Arjuna. I am Woki's servant. <laughs>